of Flosstube. This is Lindsay, the Scruffy Kitty. I'm back to do part two of Stitch Mania. Um, I'd actually recorded this two other times and neither of the other ones, well the first one didn't come out so good and the second one I accidentally deleted. So <laughs> I'm going to try this again. Uh, so starting with, hmm, thanks to the Brave, this is the one where I said I was going to start it that night um, on, at the tail end of my last video, uh, the Stitch Mania Part 1, and this is the pattern. And then the fun part, yeah, somehow th this one didn't get started. <laughs> um, I think I just got busy and didn't get started at all that night. Excuse me. Drop something. So, yeah. One mania start got dropped entirely, unfortunately. It happens, right? Uh, oh, and I'm also filming downstairs in my sunroom, different part of the house, and on a different device. Instead of my computers, I'm actually recording on my phone. Surprise, surprise. So we'll see how that turns out. Um... And this is part of like the uh, computer glitch I was having with the first recording. Anyways, back to Stitch Mania. Uh, for day 12 of Stitch Mania, I started this teeny weeny bikini, July. And here's my progress. It's on the, under, under the Sea Fabrics fabric, Harvest Moon, Lugana 28 count. And that was my progress for that. For day 13, I started Gather a Harvest from Hands on Design. I am doing the full one, not the partial acorn shaped one, but I'm doing the full one. And I'm doing that one on. Edinburgh Linen Antique Almond and it's a 36 count. Really, really small. I'm holding it upside down. <laughs> so for my Mania Start, I only got the one word in and it's have. And sorry, the color keeps fluctuating. I'm trying natural light with the sun and everything in the afternoon, so We'll see how that goes. So this this new start, which was on May the 14th, 14th, <laughs> is Long May She Wave. And I'm doing the star one with the uh, soldier silhouette. And this is my progress. Yeah. When you have bulk color, it's or big blocks of color, it's kind of hard to see the progress, but there it is. And it is on a white opalescent scrap fabric, so yeah. My uh, day 15th start was a uh, heartstring sampler, a little festive fobs. This one had all of these charts kind of on um, uh, one piece of paper. So, in my decision of, or in my decisiveness of not knowing which one I wanted to stitch that day, I just dropped a button down and it landed here on the penguins. And again, scrap fabric. This is my progress on it. I realized after I stopped that I missed a stitch up here, but I'll go back and fix it later. So that's the penguins on festive fobs. Unfortunately, a recurring trend I discovered during Stitch Mania uh, was my odd work hours, <laughs> and so I'd frequently start my main bany of projects very late in the day or into the evening, so didn't get a whole lot of 
progress or as much progress as as I had hoped for each project. Um, moving on, day 16, I had mentioned, and I think the um, um, what would you call it? Mania plans, my mania plans video that two of the days I just had like something related to this or this and the 16th was something Pennsylvania. In that video I showed about three different patterns that I didn't didn't quite know what I was going to do with but I finally picked one the day of. So I'm doing charmed block, charmed mini block Pennsylvania. They don't have pictures for that one apparently. I searched online too. Um, also, instead of doing the zigzag pattern with the letters, I'm doing them all the way across and putting the charms below. But here's my progress. A little over a letter and a half. And this one I am doing on 25 count Lugana Navy with white DMC floss. Next up, um, on May the 17th, I started the Teeny Weeny Bikini August. And this one, unlike the July one, I started from the top down. This one I started from the bottom up. And here's my progress on that one. I think I said on Instagram that I didn't get as much done on this as I wanted to. And because of that, it looks like a green flower pot. Which it does. But hey, it's a start. The other, I don't know what I want to start day, um, was a Lizzie Kate. I had like seven patterns, seven Lizzie Kate patterns set aside that I wanted to start. And with that one, I actually did like get these cut out little pieces of paper and wrote down the names of the pattern and then dropped them into a hat, like folded up and everything. And drew them out. And Sweet Summer was the winner of that little drawing. I did that kind of early on a Saturday morning. I was supposed to go to a stitch group for a while before going to work and then they called me in like two hours early and all that. So, uh, so I ended up not going to my stitching thing and I ended up not starting this piece until about 11 o'clock 11 o'clock at night <laughs> and this is my progress on it I got three letters S W and E out of sweet before I realized I was just too tired to continue stitching at least with any sort of accuracy <laughs> <clears throat> so that was the progress on that one Day 19 of Stitch Mania, that was a whip from last year, and that was the You Are My Sunshine cross stitch kit from Whimsical World of Thomas Joseph, and here's the picture. <clears throat> I did work on this some during the, during the year. So I think what I'd started on Stitch Mania was just like this patch of tan and a little bit of green. Over the year I added the blue and more green here and the white part of the house. This year on Stitch Mania I added, I guess, most of this green here, all of the roof and a couple of hay bales. So there's your picture for reference. So. Hay bale here, roof, another hay bale. Yep. So that's where we are with that one. Day 20 of Stitch Mania was also a whip from last year, and that was a dimensions kit. Try to relax. Cute little kitty. And here's my progress. 
This is another one I did work on, work on throughout the year. Um, made my way up into the head and all that over the year, but I think I got off somewhere on the count, and I still haven't figured out where. So, on um, on the twentieth on Stitch Mania Day, it's a sign day. <laughs> um, I went and worked here on on his two back feet back paws. So we did all this tan here. The white. I think I already had the pink. Maybe not. Yeah, anyways. I'd have to refer back to before and after photos for that, but he's coming along. For day 21, I started June Bell Pool from Holly House Designs. And with this one, I decided I didn't really want to do the strawberries or the word July, so I'm kind of cropping it down to just the beehive. Maybe the flowers, too. Maybe making it into a fob or a mini pillow or something. And then... Here it is. Progress I made. I had to do a little tweaking of the pattern to find the new center since I was just doing the beehive. So it's like crop up to here and find middle in that section instead of the whole thing. <laughs> and the floss, the um, pattern actually calls for Weeks Dye Works. Um, beehive, but I had trouble finding that in stores, and I didn't want to wait online for an online order. So I found the closest thing, which is this one here, Weeks Dye Works Tiger Eye. Well, somewhat improved focusing, but it still it still has its kinks. But I found that to be a little bit closer to what I wanted and in a beehive color, and I'll probably use it for future beehives too. Beehive projects. My last and final day of Stitch Mania, I chose to do do that on um, May the 22nd, which is my birthday. My notes are kind of taped right down here. <laughs> That's why I keep looking down. Um, but unfortunately, well, no, not unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately, in terms of stitching and stitching mania goals, it didn't work out. But um, went to New York for the for the day to see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, parts one and two. And so, between the early departure and the late night return home, I didn't get any stitching <laughs> started that day. So I started it early the next morning, and since there are no cross-stitch police, um, I still counted that as my birthday May start, mania start, and that was uh, a year of chalk September, summer don't go, and summer is one of my favorite seasons, um, yes it's hot, there is that, um, but, um, I don't know, I just like the warm weather and the sunshine, because then you can wear t-shirts. <laughs> um, things like that. You're not wearing like 20 layers <laughs> of clothes. Um, plus you can go out and enjoy water activities, like swimming in the pool or going to the beach, so. Which are also, can also be hot, too. But, back to stitching. <laughs> um, so September, don't go. Or summer, don't go. September chart. When I started this, I made it to about here. Oh, <laughs> sorry, the fabric's kind of flopping around and I didn't bring down my mag magnet board. So I made this much progress that day and then without really thinking about it, I just sort of grabbed a project, you know, post-mania, I just grabbed a project to work on in the car one day and didn't think about 
the fact that I'd have to redo a video. So, um, so I made progress by finishing the rest of the top border, adding part of a firefly here and into the cube or, oops, it's upside down, cube or jar frame or whatever, this part here. Anyways, that's my progress on that one. Sorry, I had to go get something. Uh, <laughs> if you notice the pause or jump. So, um, after Mania, picked up the Buttercup September Smarty Cat and worked on that one some more. So that one's come a much further along since you last saw it. When you last saw it, I just had this paw here. Now we have a full cat. Well, almost a full cat. He still needs a face. And his hat. Yeah, so that's really coming along. I really like how fast their their patterns stitch up. I like them a lot. Uh, yesterday, I was taking a break from the treasured timepiece. The uh, big winter scene I was working on before Stitch Mania for like a year and a half now. And I got the rest of the border done, the tuck away border on the hands on design block party java. And I have this one coffee mug mostly done. But then I decided, you know, I really need to do the finish this border so I know where where I'm going with it. And then I have to do that same border bordering back stitch for the other two square pieces, which I have not done yet. So I'm happy to say I've been making progress on that one. And that is Lupin 28 count. I guess that's yeah, by TPT. PTP. Picture this plus. Ugh. Don't you just love it when you get your tongue wet? <laughs> Especially when you're talking. Okay. So, I have something of a almost announcement finish. It's not quite a finish, but I'm finished with the all the back stitching that, I mean the full coverage stitching that was involved. And because I had the misfortune of Losing the bag, I don't actually have the, uh, what do you call it, <laughs> the um, picture anymore, so I'm pulling that up on my tablet here. There you go. So, treasured time. That's what it's going to look like. And this morning, I finished all of the full coverage stitching that was involved down here. So all I have now, all I have remaining now, is, is the back stitching on this. And I am so thrilled. <laughs> be almost done with this. And I'm hoping, I'm very, very much hoping at this point to uh, have all the back stitching done before I go to StitchCon. If not, well, it'll probably go with me anyways, but, um, but I'm doing, I'm using that piece as my challenge piece for Ginger Gerald's, um, uh, large project challenge that he set up to finish up his King Harry the, or Henry, King Her Henry the Eighth, which he has now finished, by the way, <laughs> in case you haven't been following Ginger Gerald. Uh, he has finished it now, and I am almost, almost done with this. As far as I can tell, it's just the houses that really has the most backstitching. There's some 
white in here, the posts. I don't think I really have to do like everything on here, so that makes me very happy and excited. <laughs> and I'm thinking at this point that having it done by StitchCon is an optimistic goal at this point. So I'm very happy. <laughs> And my goal of stitching on that some every day during Stitch Mania did not work out. It worked like the first three days and then pfft, nothing after that. <laughs> so I'm happy to say that mostly met my goals. <laughs> um, so I'm going to leave it here for now. Um, you've seen, seen my Stitch updates. You've seen now seen my Stitch Mania uh, starts and where they're at right now, part two, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Today is June, June 8th, and it's a Saturday, <laughs> so I hope you're having a great weekend and enjoying the summer weather. See you next time, and happy stitching. Bye!